Today we are here in Latham with Anthony Camisso, owner of Tuxigo, which is a fantastic formal wear shop here in the Capital District. Thank you, Dave. Oh, you're welcome. Absolutely. Um, so men's formal wear, it doesn't change as quickly as, men, as women's fashion necessarily, but things have, have come in and out. Uh, I remember back when I was shopping for prom, which was unfortunately quite a while ago, um, cummerbunds. I remember my brother was shopping for cummerbunds, and then when I was going for prom, vests were in. Now, thankfully, I don't see a cummerbund anywhere. Well, your, your brother must be significantly older than you because they've been out for a while and, you know, since you've been around, vests have been around. It's, vests have been more popular. Yeah. But we are seeing a little return to, you know, classics. I mean, as, as regular fashion has gone from different decades, so yeah. too has tuxedos. For example, gray was uh, very popular, as were some other unique colors in the 70s. And now we've seen a return over the last few years. Brown has come back, yes. tan has come back. And now this year, gray has been hugely popular amongst bride and grooms. I like gray, it's a good look. Well, it's myself, look. I love the classic Cary Grant, James nice. Bond, you know, the black, black, the bow, black tie. bow tie. But it's been split. I've seen, I've seen first off, the bow tie uh, yeah. has become very hip yeah. and has made a, a real comeback. Um, and bride and grooms are now starting to infuse color again. You know, a dash of color. Uh, for example, they might use a vest, whether black, uh, gray, or brown, that's in a self-fabric versus a colored vest. So it okay. blends in with the tux. Yeah. And then they just simply use a little color, whether in the Windsor tie or the bow tie, so they get that little panache. Well, yes, Dave. You're, <laughs> you, you have always been ahead of the curve and hip. You Thanks, know. Sally. I appreciate that. So... How far in advance would you say that a bride and groom should come and pick out what their men wear? Well, you can never come too early, to be honest with you. That's a good point. Oftentimes, you know, bride and grooms are, you know, lining up the big things, which I, I admittedly, the venue, the photographer, the DJ, because they have to lock in a date. With us, they have a lot more flexibility. However, the earlier they come, the easier it is on them, or you rather, and on us. Yeah. However, the dilemma is, or the conundrum rather, for the bride and groom is that it's not them, it's not me. It's the, it's groomsmen. the groomsmen. Yeah, yes. bingo, in the between, groomsmen. who procrastinate, yeah. you know, and the more time they give them, you know, the, the more, er, the earlier they will have, you know, the guys finished. And, that makes sense. Yeah, and the bride and groom can, you know, kind of not stress over it or relax that 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 segment or that part of it is of. taken care of. So uh, again, for those couples that are shopping around, um, what are some important things that they should look for? Um, let's say that they're out of town, they're not here in the Capital District. What are some important elements that uh, a bride and groom should look for when shopping for a formal wear shop? Well, that's an excellent question because a lot of bride and grooms concern themselves with, you know, how do they handle their groomsmen from out of town? Um, I strongly encourage that bride and grooms choose a tuck shop in the area of where they're getting married because mm. it's much easier for the tuck shop to control what's going on. You know, we want to do a thorough second fitting. I that mean, not sense. every tuck shop does it, but I, I make sure that every bride and groom have all their guys come in. That allows us to fine tune everything so everybody's looking at their best the day of the wedding. Very crucial, that second fitting. The owner operator makes a lot of sense to me because it's, it's, it's your business. Correct. You're going to do, go above and beyond to ensure that they're not only satisfied, but they're ecstatic with what they got. Well, absolutely. I mean, yeah. I want everyone to be pleased and happy and, and an owner operator is much more vested in it. Yeah. You know, personally, I think to their advantage or to your advantage that you would come in to a place that does an authentic formal wear consultation, that they'll sit down with you by appointment and they'll go through all the nuances of formal wear and the styles because, you know, quite frankly, they sit down with you as a wedding professional, their venue, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, their music why shouldn't they sit down and discuss all the details of how the guys part. are going to look? Yeah. Because ultimately, when it's all over and done with, they got photo and video. Which, yeah. by the way, I think video is very important. I agree. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Dave, uh, it's been a thanks pleasure. For coming. So for those couples that are shopping around, how can they find you? Uh, Tuxigo.com. It's really easy. T-U-X-E-G-O. Just think of the tux guy with the big ego. Put the words together and you got Tuxigo.com. That's perfect. That's it for this week. Check back soon for some more great tips. Okay. BBT 26 take three. Take three. That was a good clap. That was a good one. I always enjoy when I start with a Excellent good clap. Excellent clap. Yeah, thank you. It might help you. <laughs> Doubtful. Today I am here. <laughs> Thanks for that, Andrew. Mm-hmm. Four.